everyone, it's Becky. I am here with a kind of a small Tuesday morning haul. I shopped at two stores this week and one was one of my regular ones and another one was one that was out of town because I went out of town yesterday to in attend the Art Impressions warehouse sale and I'll be putting up another video about that in just a little bit. But um, so it was kind of a slow week at Tuesday morning, at least where I live, which is in Oregon. And I was almost thankful for that. Thankful. Because I spent way too much money the last couple of weeks, especially at Tuesday morning. So I was kind of glad there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, new stuff that I just had to have. So um, let me get started and show you what I did get. Um, this one is not paper crafting, obviously, but they've been putting all this sh Sugar Bell stuff over in the crafting aisle. And this is a piping bag set. And last time I went to use my piping bag, it was in kind of sorry shape and then kind of stretched out at the bottom. So I went ahead and picked this up because it was a pretty good price for, you know, the bags plus the, the tip that you can change the tip out on these without having to take the whole bag apart, which I really like. And then it's got the little fasteners here too. I guess that's what those are for. But um, anyway, I got that, and there's the skew if you're interested in that. I also found this Bow Bunny um, stamp set. It says Say Cheese. This is not Say Cheese. This is the Fanciful Flourishes. They still are having trouble with getting all the <laughs> right <laughs> names on these Bow Bunny things for some reason. I thought I might already have this because I knew I have some flourish stamps, but I didn't have this one, and so I, I am going to keep it because I really like it. I love flourishes stuff. I just think it's so pretty, and especially ones that look kind of viney and flowery. So there's the skew for that one. I heard a rumor that um, on another YouTube video that um, they may be discontinuing the locator number. I don't know. I hope that's not true, but apparently the stores have been told not to spend time helping people look up other places to find an item using the SKU number. So that's okay with me. I'm, you know, fine with that. I can call in and look it up on my own, but I hope they don't do away with that. Um, this is a die I found. I don't think I have this one. I will double check, but I don't think I have it. So I picked it up. It's called Elizabeth and it's a, um, an edge die. So you'll see this edge is not a cutting edge. This edge does, but that's how you can make these things that just the edges fold over and it's cut out around the rest of the edge. So I like using those. And then I found the ephemera that goes with that Christmas Village um, collection that I have some of the layered chipboard and I also have the uh, six by six paper pad. So I was happy to find that and there's the skew for that if you're looking for it. And I'll flip it over here so you can, let me take that out. Oops. All that writing on there makes it hard to see what's in there. Maybe I'll pull it out <laughs> and all the ephemera comes with it. So here's what you get. So you can kind of have an idea and I'll kind of slowly pan down and you can pause if you want to look at something closer there. But a bunch of trees and some houses, some tags. Oops, I'm kind of blocking the light there. We're having a beautiful sunny day here. Here's one. Here's that. I guess it's a really big tag. <laughs> um, our holiday memories, more like a little project card. But let's see if I can get this over and show you a few of these. So there's some of those trees. I'm not going to go through all this, you guys, because it's just too much. But that'll kind of give you an idea. It's a cute little bow. Look at that how dimensional it looks. Very cute set. 
All right, oh, look at that big light, too. Lamp post. I like that, too. All right, I'm just going to scooch all that off to the side, and I'll clean it up later. All right, and then I also found um, this, um, I think this is Marion Bright. Yeah, Marion Bright layered chipboard. And I have the ephemera for this and something else. The paper, maybe? I can't remember now. Um, but I found the layered chipboard, so I was excited to find that. And in fact, I was so excited I picked up two of them. And there's the skew for that one. And then right after I attended the um, Art Impressions warehouse sale, I went to a Tuesday morning that was just south of there, and I found this Art Impressions stamp. Now, this stamp was much cheaper probably than a lot of the other stamps that I did get at the Art Impressions store. Not a lot cheaper, but somewhat cheaper, because I did get some stamps that are being discontinued and so I got great prices on those but um this is a good deal for this and uh, it's got some dies it's actually a pop-out card and so the when you open the card the little Santa pops out which is very cute so I got that and there's the skew for that yeah and it's got instructions there on the back of what to do so that's nice then the other thing I was really, really excited for, and thank you to all of you who left me the SKUs for the Yuletide collection, because I did call in, and I don't think it was on the ephemera, but I did find that they had the paper pad down in that store that's out of town, so I did make the trip there. It was a little bit out of the way, but it was fun to see another store, and they had a pretty nice, um, nice big crafting section, I have to say it was probably the most disorganized craft section I have ever seen. At one peg would have like one of the, a tool, a, a thing of washi tape, a ephemera pack. A, I mean, nothing was sorted at all. You know, everything, and there were like five big sections of that and you had to go through every single rack. I mean, it was tedious then. So I could could say that they um, could stand to organize it a little bit better, but it was fun seeing, you know, some different things because different stores get different things and none of my stores had this part of the collection. So I was really happy. This is the ephemera pack for the Yuletide collection. And let me pull that one out. I picked up two of these as well. I can pull this one out. Without, I'm probably not going to be able to because it's got that top thing on it. I'll just kind of push those off for a moment. All right, here's what you get in this one. I like these little tickets thing there too. I love these. I just love the old-fashioned vintage images, the music. I just love everything about this collection. It's just me. <laughs> so here's here's those tickets. Aren't they cute? Which way do they go? They go this way. Yeah, and here's that little cute little girl. Very cute. Santa. Music. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. Like a little tab thing. So anyway, I'm not going to go through all that because there's a lot there. And then I also found the paper pad there, the 6x6 one. And there's the skew for that. Did I show the skew for the ephemera? I'm not sure if I did or not, but there it is. So let's do a quickie little flip through of this. I'm having trouble doing it one page at a time here. 
I like this page a lot too. Are we repeating? Yeah, we're repeating now. So you get three of each, each sheet. So nice to have that collection. I really like it. And then, um, let's see, what else did I get? I got this Heidi Swap. Um, this is called uh, cellophane, and it's got a dot pattern on it, just this white polka dots, which you can use for Christmas, but you could use this at any time of the year with just white polka dots, so that's very um, um, useful. You know, you can use it for a lot of different things. And it looks like there's um, 36 inches. It's 12 inches by 36, so that's how much you get in there. And then the last item I got was these Heidi Swap paints, and it's in gold and looks like a copper. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can easily open this. Oh, it's all sealed up. No. Let's see if I can read it by twisting it. Yeah, it's copper, it says. So, and there's the skew for that. We did not have these in our store. They had a black and white set, and they had a green and red kind of Christmas green and red set as well but I just got this one I keep picking up gold and copper paints I don't know why I'm so attracted to the the metal kind of looks but I better do something with all of them now that I have so many so that is my Tuesday morning haul for this week thanks for watching and I'll be back shortly with the art impressions sale warehouse sale video thanks bye